Mr. Whalen Reads! Hi friends, it's Mr. Wayland here, wishing I had my green screen so I could be somewhere warm. Uh, I have brought you another story. Uh, now, not a lot of people know this, but Dr. Seuss actually wrote a couple of movies. And not books like Cat in the Hat and The Grinch that were made into movies later, but these were actual movies written by Dr. Seuss and made into movies. One was called The 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T. Strangely, it's not even a cartoon. It's a live action film about a little boy who has nightmares about his piano lessons. Strange little movie. The other one was a cartoon. It was done in 1950, a long time ago for some of you people. And it was written by Dr. Seuss and somebody else did the pictures. And it was called Gerald McBoing Boing. Mm hmm. Gerald McBoing Boing. Uh, Strange little, now that, this is also a cartoon series on TV. I remember it growing up, but before that, it was a movie, short little movie, seven or eight minutes long. It is on YouTube, so I'll put a link to it here on the channel so you can check it out. In 1950, they really liked it. This won an Academy Award, an Oscar for Best Animated Short Movie in 1950, so people did really like it. What I like about the story, it's about Gerald who can only speak in sound effects. He can only make noises with his mouth. And everybody, his family, his friends, his teachers, they just think there's nothing he can do. They're tired of having him around. There's nothing he can do but make noises with his mouth. What's this kid gonna do? He's never gonna mount anything. There's no way there's anything this, this boy can do because all he can do is make noises. But you know what? He does have an important job and he finds out about it later. And what I like about this book is that it tells us that there's something special for everybody to do. It doesn't matter who we are or what our abilities are. There's a special job out there for somebody. Sometimes it just takes a little longer to find it. Yeah? Okay. So they made this book based on Dr. Seuss's movie. He did not do the pictures. As you can see, this does not look like Dr. Seuss uh, illustrations, and it's not. Somebody else did the pictures for this. But he did write the words, and he did write the movie. And I thought it was a great little book. You know, like I said, a story about someone who does have a special job to do, even though nobody else knows what it is, because takes a while to figure it out. That's all it does. Sometimes it just takes time. Well, it's been my pleasure to read this again. I haven't read this book in a long time, so I hope you enjoy it too. Gerald McBoing Boing by Dr. Seuss. Gerald McBoing Boing. This is the story of Gerald McCloy and the strange thing that happened to that little boy. They say it all started when Gerald was two. That's the age kids start talking, at least most of them do. Well, when he started talking, you know what he said? He didn't talk words. He went boing boing instead. What's that? cried his father, his face turning gray. That's a very odd thing for a young boy to say. And poor Gerald's father rushed, rushed to the phone and quick dialed the number of Dr. Malone. Come over fast, the poor father pled. Our boy can't speak words. He goes boing, boing instead. I see, said the doctor. It's just as you said. He doesn't speak words. He goes boing, boing instead. I've no cure for this. I can't handle this case. And he packed up his pills and walked out of the place. Then months passed, and Gerald got louder and louder, till one day he went boom, like a big keg of powder. It was then that his father said, This is enough. He'll drive us both mad with this terrible stuff. A boy of his age shouldn't sound like a fool. He's got to learn words. We must send him to school. So Gerald marched off, an obedient creature. But he soon was back home with a note from the teacher, from public school seven to Mrs. McCloy. Your little son Gerald's a most hopeless boy. We cannot accept him, for we have a rule that pupils must not go cuckoo in our school. Your boy will go honk all his life, I'm afraid. Sincerely yours, Fanny Schultz, teacher, first grade. And as little Gerald grew older, he found when a fellow goes BAM, no one wants him around. When a fellow goes squeak, 
he won't have any friends. For once he says, clang, 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 all the fun ends. Yeah, yeah, they all shouted. Your name's not McCloy. You're Gerald McBoing Boing, the noise-making boy. Poor Gerald decided that he had no place at home, in the school, in the whole human race. And so he concluded that, drear and forlorn, he would just disappear in the thick of a storm. But as he was boarding a slow-moving freight, a voice from the darkness called out, Stop, boy! Wait! Aren't you Gerald McBoing Boing, the lad who makes squeaks? My boy, I have searched for you many long weeks. I can make you the most famous lad in the nation, for I own the Bong 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 radio station. I need a smart fellow to make all the sounds who can bark like a dog and bay like the hounds. Your gong is terrific. Your toot is inspired. Quick, come to Bong Bong Bong, McBoing Boing. You're hired. Now his parents, proud parents, are able to boast that their Gerald's clop clop bang is known coast to coast. Now Gerald is rich, he has friends, he's well fed, cause he doesn't speak words. He goes boing boing instead. <laughs>